moving back here a little bit. Uh, cliff bars are great. Uh, you talk about a lot of calories, a lot of protein, some carbs. That's a good pick me up. I really like cliff bars. Of course, they are a little expensive. You get tired of them after a while. They get a couple in my survival pack. I eat them for a quick lunch if I forget to take lunch or I don't want to go out for lunch while I'm at work. Uh, they are a little expensive, but you know, they really are pretty good for you. And I think that guy's got it nailed as far as the energy bars, in my opinion. They taste good. Drink with water. It doesn't seem to take quite as much water as uh, some of the high power energy bars to digest them. And Gatorade, that's my other uh, drink mix. So, again, all that told is uh, plenty of calories for me, plenty of variety, and uh, works out pretty good for me. And when I'm on the trail, I'll usually take, you know, one or two Ziploc bags, kind of like that, with all my stuff in it. I mean, that's probably two or three days worth of food right there. I mean, it's five and a half pounds of food. So I don't cut the weight, but it is all, you know, powder dehydrated and uh, just, you know, mixed with water, or, you know, maybe a little olive oil or whatever. So that's my uh, whole food kit. Thanks to uh, guys that inspired me to do this. And hopefully this somebody finds this helpful and they get some good ideas out of it. Dehydrating your own stuff is is great, but it does take some energy and it takes some uh, You know as far as the electricity as well as of course time and does take skill believe it or not You got to practice to see what works for you and how to do it. So hopefully that'll work. Thanks Okay, last one went a little over 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna do a quick uh, second video on on some uh, Miscellaneous thoughts here. So this is uh, two three days worth of food 5.3 pounds in Ziploc bags, you know, pretty much all the, you know, parts of everything I showed in the last video. Um, here's my temp dad homemade beef jerky. Seems to work. Again, seems like it costs about $5 for six ounces, which isn't really huge money savings, but uh, it does work. Make your own. This is my dehydrated uh, tomato sauce or my uh, spaghetti sauce. Very light, I uh, have to reconstitute that and see how that works, but makes like a, a roll and uh, you just mix it up, I assume. I know people powder it. And here is the dehydrated spinach, not any kind of an illegal substance. This is spinach dehydrated. And just call out, if you haven't seen, I've never really uh, mentioned, seen this mentioned too much. You want a good magazine? The Backwoodsman is a good magazine. So I would r highly recommend this if you, uh, I've read climbing and backpacking and outdoors and a number of these other magazines. This thing, you know, he's not paying me to say this. Look at this. These are all articles, you know. This isn't uh, very little advertising in here. This is all articles on making and using backwoods stuff. And I'm telling you, it comes out, I think, four times a year five times a year and it's uh, four dollars and fifty cents I'm getting a subscription to this and probably gonna order some uh, back issues it is not a magazine that's carried in our library system and I live in a big urban environment and our library system does not uh, carry it but call out to that that's great stuff okay so as we're talking about printed material I do have a video on some of the other primitive bushcraft thing books that I have, uh, SAS Survival and so on and so forth, edible plants. I picked this one up off of Amazon. It's the Ultimate Guide to U.S. Army Survival Skills, Tactics, and Techniques, um, edited by Jay McCullough. Now this is just a compilation of all the Army Survival Manuals that are available for free as PDFs. But here it is, all printed out in one nice book, 900 pages. And I'm telling you, there is everything in here, how to make fabric-covered frames and uh, making your own, you know, a lot of this is for military, of course, but, you know, you could use it for a lot of other things. If you watch the movie Defiance, uh, you know, it's kind of amazing how they used some of this stuff in, in that movie. Uh, but... This is a good manual. You can write in it. It's got kind of margins, lots of paper. Not something you want to take in the bush because it does weigh, you know, I don't know, four pounds. But if you're car camping and you just want something to read or you want a coffee book table, I would recommend this. $16.47, brand new, off of Amazon plus shipping. So 
call out to that. I really think it's good. Of course, this stuff is time tested and uh, a lot of it isn't, you know, going to pertain to all the wild edibles in your area because they're covering the whole world and all climates. But good stuff and uh, I would highly recommend uh, picking that up or taking a read. I'm sure it is available at your local library. If not, uh, get online, download all the PDFs and try and print them out if you want or spend the 16 bucks and get that. Thanks.